Hey guys, Nico's Tech Throw, and this is just going to be a quick uh, look at iOS 4.1 beta for uh, the iPhone 4. Um, now, a few things that are supposed to be different in this beta are uh, signal bar changes. So now uh, the algorithm for um, detecting how many actual bars of signal you have is different. Um, this should uh, sort of give people a, a better idea of how many bars they have. I'm sure you've all heard of the issue of the uh, quote-unquote death grip uh, and uh, you know that's when you you hold the phone like this and you lose uh, bars of service that's actually caused um, from what they're saying it's caused by an algorithm in how uh, uh, bars of service are actually um, displayed so um, you know we'll see we'll see if it fixes anything with that I myself don't have that issue even before 4.1 uh, as you can see, the phone on the right is on 4.0, and the phone on the left is on 4.1, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, I didn't have that issue on 4.0, and I haven't tested it on 4.1 yet, so um, we'll see if it, uh, you know, if anything changes there. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right into these uh, settings. Uh, this isn't my phone, so the one on the left is mine. We'll go to about on both. And the one on the left, as you can see, is version. I'll just switch this to manual focus. Sorry about that. This is version 4.0. And this one is running version 4.1 beta, as you can see right here. So one one thing you'll notice right away after installing is the um, actual bar. Uh, the image of the actual bars is different, so they're a little bit taller. Uh, let me see if I could get in this a little bit better to show both at the same time. So as you can see, the uh, bars on the left are actually a little bit taller than the bars on the right. Uh, so problem solved, I guess. Now you got more bars, so people could stop complaining. Now, <laughs> but um, yeah, a little bit different image there. Um, that's the one thing I noticed right away. And something else let's look at some different features so you know we get rid of this phone now we don't need to compare anything else really um, I'm gonna try to blow this real quick blow through this real quick because uh, looks like my battery is about to die on my camera um, alright so a different feature we have is um, they've added Game Center to the beta again so you go ahead and launch Game Center that's Apple's service for games and it's my email address showing there but yeah you could have friends I've got three friends so far. Uh, you can click on games, and it, there don't seem to be any games for this yet. And these are where your friend requests are going to be. And you can go ahead and request friends and uh, all that. But uh, they haven't actually implemented the service yet. They did change the GUI on it. Um, as you just saw, uh, if you saw the beta, the previous Game Center that was on the previous beta, it did look a little bit different, and I actually preferred the look of that one better, but uh, this is looking more like a classic board game or something, and that's pretty cool, too. Um, something else is you can actually turn spell check off now. So if you go into your settings and into your keyboard settings, you can turn uh, spell check off right there. Um, that's cool. Some people don't like that. It's when your text is highlighted in red. Um, it's not the same as autocorrect. It's different. Um, so they've added that. They've also added developer settings, and that allows you to track or actually to log the battery, uh, the battery performance, I believe. But I can't seem to find that. Uh, if you know where it is, let me know. I just looked through this real quick before, and I, I couldn't find the developer settings anywhere. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly where they are. Oh, they might actually. Let's just check something real quick. Um. I know what I'm looking for, I just can't find it. Ah, we don't want to do that. Anyway, I'll look for that later. Um, all you could do is really log the uh, battery performance, I believe, in there. So, um, let's see, what else have they added? They have added the ability to... They've, now you have the ability to add people to your favorites. Um, as you know, you could add people to your favorites this way. And now when you add somebody who has an iPhone 4 to your favorites, you have the ability to add... Um, their FaceTime. So let's try to go ahead and not show my friends' numbers, but um, 
you can now add a voice call or FaceTime to your favorite. So we'll add FaceTime. And, you know, when you when I go to call my friend right here, it'll call in FaceTime, uh, you know, right away. So you don't have to actually go through to his name and then go to FaceTime. So um, that's really cool. Uh, I believe that's all they've added to iPhone 4.1. Oh, there's one other thing. It's when you use your camera. And people are a little bit confused about this, so I'll go ahead and bring this iPhone here again, which is running 4.0. Open the camera on that. Now, on the new one, as you can see, uh, your flash and, um, you know, your camera toggle buttons are on the top. Now, when you flip it, they go back to the top again. Previously, they would go from the top, and when you flipped it, uh, they would just flip uh, orientation. So you would just see them actually, the icons actually flipping around like so. Now the difference is um, they actually go from uh, the top and they stay at the top like that. So um, here they are side by side, by side both in landscape mode. Uh, the new one's at the top, both buttons on the top. The other two are on the left side of the screen when you hold it in uh, landscape mode. So, yeah, that's just a quick look at uh, iOS 4.1 beta. Uh, I'll let you know if I find anything else out about it. Uh, so far, that's all I know. And, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And give us a little bit of a thumbs up. That helps us a lot. And that's it. Once again, I'm Nico Sotector. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.